It was, it was a bit unrehearsed. I, you know, was off the cuff comment that was inappropriate for, for air. Shouldn't have been on radio, you know, 100%. Um, but, you know, I, I was comfortable in a room with four other guys and um, naive to the fact that, you know, those comments were inappropriate at that stage, which sounds stupid. It does sound stupid, I know. Um, you know, I say crude stuff like that, not in a, in a meaning to be... Um, degrading to women or, you know, inappropriate or it's more to get people laughing. And I sort of understand now, after the ramifications of what happened, that, you know, that shouldn't certainly be on air. There are people who would say he was having a joke. You know, there are a couple of guys on the air having a laugh. And, but you've got to look at the bigger picture, I think, and you've got to look at respect and decency. And I think I get frustrated when people try to couch, you know, this outrage machine as being you know, manufactured. I think it's outrageous that being civil is yeah. apparently beyond a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Because in my view, a lot of what some people would say is PC or um, is actually maintaining standards of decency. Um, standards of decency that I think we would say have been accepted as part of civil society for a long time. How quickly did the reaction occur? Uh, well, well, I felt it the next day. The phone started to, to ring and I started to to got my right whack on, on uh, social media and, you know, the trolling and all that sort of thing. And I'll be perfectly frank, I'm not the most educated person in the world. I, um, you know, completed year 10 and, and that's about as far as my education went. Um, but I'm, I'm a rough dog, rough diamond, as you said, I'm a country boy. Uh, I speak differently to most people um, and I try and see myself as a pretty honest sort of person. So um, if we can't be that nowadays, I'd, you know, maybe I don't want to be in this industry anymore. Do we hate him or do we feel sorry for him? I think that you have to say, unfortunately, Barry Hall um, created the circumstances in which he lost his job. And I think, I mean, on a human level, do I feel sorry for him? Yes, I wouldn't wish that situation upon anyone. But I think that if you're in a position where you are a public broadcaster, you have to be held accountable. And there are standards of decency that he quite clearly breached. Does that mean he's never employable again? No, I wouldn't say that. Does it mean that he is has no redeeming features and ought to be punished for the rest of his life? No. But I think that was it right for him to lose his job? Yes. I've been seen to um, degrade women, which I can understand. But in response to that, um, these poor excuse for humans, these trolls, attack my partner, who's a female, and attack my poor innocent son, who's done nothing to anyone. Um, How was she blamed for your sin? Well, basically saying that I was a pig and she deserves, you know, deserves me and all that stuff, and, you know, my son's ugly and, um, you know, talking about harmful things to them. And I'm not talking about just harmful words, I'm talking about physical stuff. I've certainly learned the hard way now, and, you know, with a, with a vulgar comment. But I've actually sort of went away and educated myself on why it was vulgar and why it was degrading to women. And we, we all know that, that it was, but it, was, it wasn't the intent to um, degrade women. How do we make the punishment fit the crime on social media? There are no rules. Well, look, social media is a wild... It's a wild world, and I think that it is beholden on... Um, the organisations themselves, I think the platforms themselves have got um, an obligation to step up and do more, to stamp out, because there is so much um, sort of simply vile abuse that gets through on social media that is not helpful to anybody. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.